Welcome back to Area DMG. I am your host, Philip Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, and for today's episode of Suki Nihon, we are looking at episode 14 of season 3 of Steven Universe Monster Reunion. Now, this is one of those episodes that got leaked early, while well, the name, and that caused a lot of people wondering okay, is this the Bismuth episode? Or is this Centipedal? Or. Well, what is this? We were waiting for this episode to make sure it's good, and, uh... It is. What happens is that Stephen discovers that his healing abilities, like in his spit or whatnot, have returned. So, Stephen decides he wants to heal Centipedal, despite the warning from Garnet and Pearl and Amethyst that Centipedal is corrupted by a gem weapon and not broken like Lapis. So he uses this to try and heal Centipedal and it kind of works. Except that Centipedal isn't broken or cracked like Lapis. She's corrupted by a diamond weapon, like I mentioned before. Probably the one we saw on the moon. Hmm. She tries to communicate with Steven via crayon drawings and what appears to be gem language, but he doesn't know that. And this eventually leads her to tell him a little bit about why she's there for her mission, what happened when she was told to retreat, and what happened there, how she got separated from her group. And it's a really good backstory for this character. And it gives more insight into the gem wars that raged all over Earth and such. And it's sad. You feel really bad for Centipedal trying her best to help this, help, like, do something. And then Stephen eventually figures out that she's trying to tell him that she's looking for her ship. Stephen remembers that abandoned ship, the one where they almost captured Peridot the first time when they, when they got one of her little shoes. Yeah, which I think they should have given those back, right? Wait, no, she may have lost those. Anyways, um, yeah, she lost those. Anyways... He takes her back to that ship, opens up, and discovers that two of her other crew members, who are also centipedals now, are alive and well. So, the Crystal Gems leave Centipedal and her, and her two friends alone in the ship and go back. And it's sweet. Now, a lot of people were trying to make this one about like, oh, it's like dealing with someone with a degenerative mental illness, and I'm like... If you want a good representation of what that's like, Adventure Time is that way, okay? The whole backstory with the Ice King slash Simon, much better representation. This is more like there's that little language barrier, and this poor um, corrupted gem is trying to communicate. And it looks like she's just doing scribbles, but that's actually gem language, which they promised to kind of teach to Steven, which would be very beneficial. I don't I don't know why they don't why Pearl doesn't think it's a it's necessary. I'm sorry Pearl, you're not a tactician. Garnet's the tactician. And you should probably teach Stephen how to read gem language. That could be very important. Also, this corruption thing. Okay. After he tries doing tries um at one point they decided they want to try and rebubble Centipedal. And they're like, oh just look away. I'm like, that's you see that's kind of like, um, Rose is more the tactician and leader of this group, because Rose would look at something as like, okay, you have an enemy, what can you do with them? With Garnet and Pearl and Amethyst, it's, oh, we have an enemy, let's smash them, or bubble them, let's do that, which isn't the right answer. You see, <sighs> I'm going to reference something here, and it's going to be a little weird, but Grand Admiral Thrawn, one of the best villains in the Star Wars Extended Universe, who's back in Star Wars Rebels Season 3, I would probably, I could, should probably start covering those. I like that series. It's really good. It's really just them putting the Extended Universe back in there. But one thing he does is he understands the art, the sciences, and the culture of his foes. And when you learn your foes, or you learn your friends as well, you can convert them. You can take them into your side. 
it is important. I've always thought that you start a war with bullets, bombs, and bayonets, but you end a war with books, bread, and buildings. And why you do that is because what you're supposed to do is take in the enemy and convert them to your way of thinking. Take them in and befriend them. Use them. An enemy is just another asset in the field of battle. And that's one thing that the crystal gems don't understand yet. So they're, that's why they're like, oh, we should just instantly like rebubble this. But at the end of this, they, they let Santa Beetle be. They let her be. Because that's what she wanted to do. She wanted to be with the other people. She was alone and scared, and they didn't try to understand that. And this is one of those cases where Stephen's overactive empathy is important and a tactical advantage. Overall, I liked this episode. It is a little bit sad. So if you're one of those people who's like, Oh, is it a bit of then you probably cried your eyes out at this. I was like, I wonder what this gem looks like when it's not corrupted. That's kind of a cool thing. I hope that we get to see what Centipedal looks like not corrupted and what Centipedal's actual name is because Centipedal wrote it down, but in gem language, so Stephen didn't understand it. He wants to know how to say things like hello and goodbye and where's the bathroom and sorry. Which... That was a good episode. You know, if more Steven Universe episodes were like this, this would be one of the best series out there. It's still a good series. Although, to be honest, I feel that even regular show can be a little bit better and on the nose with actual realistic human emotion on there. But this one was a good episode. Um, what do you think of this episode? I liked it. I, I like the centipedal character and any more of that. Chops! is is wonderful. That's good stuff. I liked this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. You know, just go ahead and like us. And subscribe if you haven't already. And until the next video comes out, you are now caught up.